Hey guys, welcome to Game of App, bringing another video today for our weapon conversion series. And today we're going to be turning the Task Force M4 in more of a cosmetic conversion into the Colt Canada C8A2. So, going to go ahead and show you how to build this. We're going to check out the recoil pad and see how it handles in game against bots. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here we have our final design for the C8 or Colt Canada Model 8A2. So let's go ahead and back out. First off, I'm using the Task Force Blueprint, which was part of the UDT bundle, which was available at the end of Season 2, I believe, and it came with Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, so this was available on all consoles, and I believe that there was a glitch initially where people weren't getting it, but now I believe everybody should have it. So here you see the Task Force Blueprint at base. I'll also list the conversion that we did for the M4A1 carbine below, carbine or carbine, depending on where you're from. But I'll link that video below so you can check that out. Initially, the first video I did on this, how to build it to an M4A1 carbine. Now we'll go ahead and back out and we'll jump back to the build we have for the C8. So if I go to my weapons here, and here I have my C8A2. So jump into the gunsmith and we'll strip this down at base to the M4. Now you do really need the Task Force Blueprint to cosmetically make this look right. However, uh, you can do some. You can do it with a base M4 or any other Blueprint. Just replicate the attachments, but cosmetically, the Task Force Blueprint allows us to create the Colt Canada C8. So let's start. We're going to leave the standard muzzle on this. We're just going to not put any tabs. We're going to leave that standard Colt uh, muzzle, muzzle break on there. Now the barrel is the, one of the key attachments, the FSS 14.5 inch tack light. So the C8 came with the A1s and A2s came with a 14 and a half inch barrel. Some, the A1 had a pencil thin lightweight barrel. The A2s had a cold hammer forged heavier barrel. So we'll go ahead and select the 14 and a half tack light. This is going to assist with the ADS speed and the con beam bullet velocity. Now laser, I'm going to go ahead and put a tack laser on this weapon. I do like my tack lasers. Uh, the pros being ADS speed, aiming stability, aim walking steadiness, the cons being laser visible to enemies. So go ahead and select that. I think cosmetically it adds a, adds a nice addition to the weapon. Now for the optic, we're going to go with the four times flip sight. This is going to give us the Hollow and scout toggle and the zoom level. We can swap between the four and just a standard holographic sight. Con being the ADI speed since we're adding that extra weight. Now another key attachment here is for the stock. We want the forge tack CQS to cosmetically change the butt stock to what we need it to be. So this is gonna assist with the aim down sight speed, the cons being aiming stability. Now the last attachment we're gonna want for the underbarrel, you can do something like a, if you wanted to replicate the C8 from Rainbow Six Siege, you could do the Deputy. However, I believe in that game, Rainbow Six Siege, it was an M26 mass on the underbarrel, not a, not the uh, Remington model that we see here. So go ahead and back out. We're actually gonna put a Ranger foregrip on this. I think cosmetically it suits the weapon very well. And then it's also going to pros being the recoil control in the aim and stability, the cons being aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. Another option here is gonna be the Merc foregrip as well, is also another good attachment that comes with this weapon. So we'll go ahead and select the Ranger foregrip. And that is our final design. So this is the Colt Canada C8A2. I'll show a picture of it up there on screen. It's very similar, it was the C7 series was developed in parallel with the M16A2s, I believe. To by Colt Canada to make an improved version of the A1s, and then the C7 evolved to the C8, and that has a couple series of variations of weapons. So this is the final design. Let's go ahead and jump in game, check out the recoil control, and then we'll see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our Colt Canada C8, I'm just gonna fire this at the wall here and not control the recoil, and we're gonna check out the recoil pattern. So let's go ahead and let it rip. So you can see up and to the right slightly. So now let's try and control it a little bit more. And now let's control it with just a standard holographic. And one more time. So you can see it kind of, it wants to kick up initially. So if you just control it like this, just play around it and learn the recoil pattern there. You can see it wants to bounce up and to the right. So you got to compensate down and to the left slightly. So there's our controlled patterns. Obviously with the four times flip are very accurate. And then these ones a little bit all over the place. Let's let it rip one more time here. See if we can control it a little bit better with the holographic. No so a lot of that is me over 
adjust in. Because it does, it's going to kick a little bit and then it's going to come down. So those are the recoil patterns for the Colt Canada C8 out of the Task Force Blueprint. Let's go ahead and jump in game and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our Colt Canada C8 Carbine, A2 version. Let's go ahead and see how it handles here in game against bots. So let's go ahead and see if we can find these guys. Now, the, as I said, the Colt... There we go. Oh boy. Alright, I got saved by my teammate there. So, as I think I mentioned in the uh, beginning of the video, the Colt CA-A2 is based on the C7 series, which was developed in parallel with the M16-A2 by Colt Canada. So this was part of a program to make an improved version of the M16-A1. So Coke Canada stepped in and they had manufactured what was at the time the C7. So the difference between the C7 or even the C8 and the M16 series of rifles is just mainly that the C8 and the C7 has a cold hammer forged barrel, which is a tougher barrel and allows the weapon to last longer than the standard barrels of the M16, which are typically a lighter weight barrel. So that's really the, one of the main differences. There's a couple of minor differences, such as the uh, iron sights and the weapons are slightly different, I believe, at least on the C7. They were, they may have changed with some of the C8 variations because there's quite a few different versions of the C8. So a lot of you may remember the C8 from Rainbow Six Siege, which I believe was the weapon of Buck, the operator in that game. And the only difference is in that game, I think you had an ACOG as well as Oh my god. As well as you had a M26 mass mounted on the bottom of the weapon as well. Unfortunately, we can do we can put a master key shotgun or a Remington 870 on this. We can mount that on the lower part of the weapon, but it doesn't quite look right without having the M26 mass mounted on the underbarrel of the weapon. So maybe in the future, though, since they did have the M26 mass, maybe they'll allow us to uh, utilize that as an underbarrel attachment. I think that'd be really nice to see. So then we could actually recreate the same weapon that Buck uses in Rainbow Six Siege. But, again, this is the CAA-2. So the difference uh, between this and, like, the C7 series is just mainly that it's just an improved version. The It's based on the C7 series, which is very similar mechanically and aesthetically to the Colt uh, 653, I believe. And now, again, let's see. There's this guy. I'm starting to use this a little bit in Warzone too, and I really like it. Uh, obviously, it's just your standard M4 with the cosmetic change of the Task Force Blueprint. Very high rate of fire, very low recoil, so you're able to keep shots on target and uh, keep essentially peppering your enemy with bullets because your bullet spread is not very large. So, very nice weapon overall. Now again, this is the A2, so the difference between the A1 and the A2 is just that the A2 has a, again, a heavier cold hammer forged barrel versus the A1, I believe, came with a bit of a lighter barrel on the weapon. So the A2, they both have the 14 and a half inch barrels on the weapons, just the A2 here has a heavier barrel than the A1. So it's going to be a little tougher and more reliable as we discussed. Here we go. Now, this has been in service since 1994 through present. The initial development, I believe, of the C7 series was in 1984 or 1980. Is when the C7 began development, again, alongside or in parallel to the M16 A2 versions or variations of the M16. So, there we go. You can see right now it's handling really well. Especially with this 4 times flip sight, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite sights in multiplayer as well as in Warzone because you're able to flip that sight, have the dual optics. Oh my god. And it's just a very reliable sight for close and medium to longer range engagements for sure because I do like the standard holographic that we have here as well. So number of units built is over 50,000. There is... As I said, the A1 for the C8 series is the A1, A2, SFW, and then there's the A3, CQB, and then the IUR. So there's a couple different variations here 
of this weapon. Very, let's see. Pop this radar. So now this is used by the Canadian military. I believe it's a standard service rifle for the Norwegian. It's only used, utilized by the Special Forces. There's a couple other militaries that utilize it around the world as well. The, oh, there we go. So you can see just very little recoil, especially since we, we covered it in the recoil pattern for the weapon. It's gonna go up and slightly to the right there. So if you aim center mass at the chest, you should get a really quick time to kill by just letting it go rise up slightly towards the head. Oh. Okay, so the mass overall for the A2 is going to be 6.2 pounds versus the A1, which is 5.9 pounds. And now, again, that's because, as we discussed with the A2, we have the heavier barrel on the weapon. The overall length of the A2 is going to be 33 inches. There we go. Oh, oh I thought I heard him coming. So the barrel length, again, as we discussed with this C8A1 as well as the A2 is going to be that 14 and a half inch bail or the 368 millimeters. Now the cartridge, again, the same as the M16 and the M4 is that 556 by 45 NATO round. Oh boy. A lot of enemies. There we go. Oh no. We're winning. So the round is that 5.6 by 4.5 NATO. Action is a gas-operated rotating bolt. The rate of fire on the C8 series of weapons is going to be 750 to 950 rounds per minute on the weapon. Let's see if we can... But this is the C8A2. Let me know below what you guys think of this weapon. Overall, have you unlocked the Task Force Blueprint by buying the UDT bundle, which includes Modern Warfare 2 Remastered? There we go. Not a bad finish. So, again, you can unlock this by purchasing Modern Warfare 2 as part of the UDT bundle. You get a Task Force Blueprint to create this. I'll link that video down below for you guys to check out. And let me know what you guys think of the C8A2. So, again, this is C8A2. I'm Buffner Gaming. Till next time, Buffner Gaming. Out.